Hi, and welcome to day eight of the Confident Mormon Woman Challenge. I am so excited that you are here and we are almost done, at least with this part of the challenge. And I am so grateful that you have been here to share this journey um, with us. I know there's been a lot of learning and a lot of growth that you've done, at least hopefully. Um, if you've missed any of them, you can go back and pick up any, you know, watch them anytime. And as I was contemplating the things that would be really important to, to you and to some of my other clients, I just had the strong impression that today we need to talk about strengthening relationships. And you may be saying, but this is more about me, and, and absolutely it is, but relationships are a big part of who we are. And, and to strengthen those, sometimes we don't think about it. We can get so busy in our world, regardless of where we are, from all from when you're even in high school all the way through different stages of our life, we can just be very busy people. And sometimes that can not, because sometimes that can be quite a detriment to us. And, and we take for granted all those people that we love so very much. Now, with relationships, it could be a relationship if you're married with a spouse. Um, it could be with a family member, um, a brother, a sister, a mother, a really good friend, somebody that you've disconnected with for a while. Life happens, and sometimes, sometimes things fade, and sometimes relationships needed to be taken a break from on you know the friendship level, friendship level. But as we think about strengthening relationships, I want you to take a minute and just think of a relationship that maybe you it's been lacking, something that you want more of in that relationship. Because so often the people that we love the most, we you know we take them for granted and. And oftentimes they take us for granted as well. But I want you to think about a relationship that you would like to strengthen. And as I was thinking about what we could, wanted to give you kind of an, an analogy of just an idea of, of how that, why that's so important. And as I was thinking about it, I, I thought about when I was in junior high or high school. And, you know, for some of you young people, you may not remember that, you know, we had a real landline that had a real cord and we would spend hours on the phone with our friends, um, literally hours on the phone. Um, I think now that's taken over by texting, but even texting, you don't have the emotion. You don't, you don't know what's really being said. You don't know how it's being said. You don't know how it's being interpreted. And so we would spend, I, well, of course I would spend, you know, I was known to spend hours on the phone with friends. And, and I think about the relationships that, that deepened because of the connection that we shared. We really cared about each other. We loved each other. And those carried on. And, and I think of in not only that life, but as life progresses and you know, with my children, with my spouse, with my family, if we don't nurture those relationships, they can, they can die. They can wither away. You know, think about a plant that you go, you, you plant a seed. Do you just plant a seed and just pray that it grows? No, you need to nurture it. You need to have, it needs to have water and sunlight and Error. It needs all of those things, just as our relationships need that as well. And so often, if we take those for granted, we wonder why we don't have a strong relationships anymore. And it's because we're not giving any time to that. Um, think about the, your relationships that you want to strengthen and the ones that you currently have, the strong ones. You give time and effort and, and emotion. Of course you do. Those are things that are so important, all part of that process. And I want to share an experience that I had with you um, several years ago. And, you know, in our relationship with my husband and I, we've been married, my goodness, like 34 years. Anyway, and sometimes life happens. Sometimes we take each other for granted. And, and he had just come back from a course. And, you know, we go about our daily life and you do everything that you normally do. And you say, I love you. And you give hugs and kisses. But sometimes you don't really do. I mean, it's not much deeper than that. And I remember one time he said, we just need to have a talk. And we sat face to face, knee to knee. And for probably 10 or 15 minutes, he looked in my eyes and told me all of the, the things that he loved about me and what made our relationship so special. And it was such an aha moment for me. I mean, I think we all know and we take, him for, take things for granted, but that was a real turning point in how I saw things, if that makes sense at all. And I know it wasn't easy for him. But it made such an impact and impart an imprint on my heart. I, I, I think I knew all of that stuff, but to have him actually say that was so powerful. And I know how I responded. And I know that that changed our relationship. 
it deepened it, it solidified it, it made it so much more meaningful. And that was something that it was, it was almost a gift for him to, to give me. And I don't think he had any idea the impact that had. And so I'm, my homework assignment for you today, you know, is, is to work on, on a relationship. Think about a relationship that you really would like to strengthen with a significant other, um, your parent, a brother, a really good friend, who, whoever that is in your life. And then see if you'll be willing to do that exercise. So I really want to talk with you. And we sit knee to knee, look eye to eye, and let them just listen to the words as you share that special feeling that you have, the, the relationship that you have and how, you, how much you appreciate them. And see what it does for you. I mean, yes, it will benefit them, but I think in your heart, it's incredible to see what that does for you. Because everything that's worth things are worth, you know, we, we may have to put some things on hold and take a few minutes and, and, you know, give that person a hug or, you know, talk with them, put something on hold so that you can talk with them and let them know that you really care, even as busy as life gets, that they are important to you. So the challenge again is I want you to, to decide who that person is and then what else can you do? If you don't feel comfortable doing that, what are, you know, what are some other things that you can do? You could write somebody a note. You could write somebody um, even a thank you note. Um, if it's not somebody that's really close, feel free to, to bond those relationships. Relationships are so important. And sometimes it doesn't take a lot of time, but it takes a lot of, of love and commitment and passion to, to, relay, to relay your thoughts and feelings of, of what that does for you. So what are some other things that you can do to deepen a relationship? Um, you can actually communicate with them, um, preferably not just by text, but um, by calling or sending them a note, um, thinking of them, praying for them. Those are some of the things that you can do. And I would love it if you would come up with some other ideas and share those with us so that we can share those with, with everyone else in the group. So once again, pick someone that you want to strengthen a relationship with. And maybe it will take a little courage because not everyone may respond. Um, they may go, oh my gosh, what are you talking about? And so, so allow them time to absorb what you're saying. Because a lot of people may not have ever heard anything deep and sincere like that. So allow them the space to respond the way that they want to respond. And then see what it does for you as you strengthen that relationship. And what does that do for you by strengthening that relationship? That also strengthens your own inner self and the relationship you have with you and the relationship you have with your Heavenly Father. Um, you know, as I think about the relationship with Heavenly Father, we pray. That's how we communicate with him. And if we spent two or three minutes a day communicating with him, I mean, with, with our friends or our family, like we do with him, how would that relationship be? So I also challenge you to, to think about the relationship that you have with your Heavenly Father. You know that he loves you and he, was always, he is always there for you. So I'm excited to hear the results from your homework. Um, once again, we're finished. This is day eight, just a few more days to go. Feel free to share this with your family and your friends. Until tomorrow, have a great day.